Welcome back. Prior to the break, we were talking to Jay Mohammed and John Stallman about the company and their line of lightweight trailers. Understanding that a light or ultralight trailer can be between 700 and 1200 pounds lighter than a traditionally made trailer of the same size, the use of aluminum as opposed to wood is a major factor in saving weight. But what of the weight saving materials are being used? The aluminum we use only is going to save the weight compared to uh, wood, wood um, studs or trusses that, that are used in, in some of the other trailers in the, in the industry today. Along with that, we use a polystyrene foam. Um, that's an ultralight as well, I mean, ultralight weight. Um, if you're familiar with your styrofoam cups that your coffee goes in, you know, it keeps your coffee warm. That's the same type of material we're using in our sidewalls, just a lot thicker. So you can be confident that if it's if you want it to be warm or, or cold in your in your camper, that that insulation is or that that polystyrene foam is going to allow that to, to stay a warm or cold. Um, but by using that as well, it, it's also saving weight um, compared to putting um, wood studs in the camper. Um, obviously, aluminum is a little bit lighter than wood. Um, and there's also other benefits using the aluminum uh, as well other than just weight savings also. With the goal of building a lighter, stronger trailer, there are a few things that Cruiser RV won't sacrifice just for the sake of saving weight and the flooring is one of them as Jay explains. The flooring in all of our trailers, whether it's our, our fun finders up to our um, uh, to, to the viewfinders which we're in today, uh, is all using 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor. Um, the only difference in our toy haulers is we, we beef it up, we go to a three-quarter inch uh, tongue and groove. Um, and the benefit to that is over time it's going to last um, a lot longer and um, you know the beating that you're going to have, whether it's uh, a family camper or a couple's camper, there's a lot of in and out, walking up and down, uh, if there's kids, a lot of jumping in the camper. Um, it's going to It's going to outlast the alternative products that are out there. Um, it, it, it might cost a little bit more money, but for the quality and the value that you have with this, we feel it's worth the, uh, the investment. There are a few things that even though may add a little weight to any RV, are almost a necessity to today's RVers, like power jacks, power awnings, and more, as John explains. The consumer is demanding more in a smaller trailer, is what we're finding. We're happy to give that to them. Uh, flat screen TVs, uh, you know, DVD players with iPod hookups, um, exterior RVQ brackets with a quick disconnect so uh, they can just basically put their grill on the side of the unit, take a quick plug, it hooks up to their LP bottles on the front of the coach and all of a sudden they're grilling. Uh, we've introduced several floor plans with exterior kitchens. So not only do you have your kitchen inside but obviously the majority of your camping is done outside. So you've got two burner stoves, uh, four cubic foot refrigerators, sinks, I mean basically a full blown kitchen on the outside of the, of the trailer. Uh, so yeah, the, the customer's definitely demanding quite a bit more, but th that's who we cater to. The term roughing it no longer exists, <laughs> at least not for us um, or for our customer. When you take a good look at the new viewfinder, it's easy to see why people looking to step up in size and luxury and those looking to downsize from a fifth wheel find this model fits their needs. From the flowing aerodynamic lines to its subtle color and graphics, the viewfinder just exudes the look of class. With double slide outs, the interior space opens up to allow for comfortable, luxurious living with all the modern conveniences of home. And the nice thing? It don't need a large pickup or SUV to tow it. Coming up, we'll tour the factory and see these lightweight trailers being built. <laughs> 